Hey guys, and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're gonna to be looking at something super cool and very useful, especially if you're a novice or a beginner with rigging. Uh, this is really awesome. This is called Adobe Mixamo, and it's essentially a program that allows you to bring your mesh character exported from a software like Blender. You can bring it into Adobe Mixamo. You can use an auto rigging feature, which is super simple. It does everything for you. And then you can pick from a massive library of different motion capture um, animation files, and then you can export that back to Blender. So pretty much I'm going to be going through the whole process, explaining how it works, just from a really basic point of view and just showing you guys some basic considerations. And by the way, just so you know, this is a free thing. All you have to do is if you don't already have an Adobe account, you can create an Adobe account and it's completely free to use. And you can even use this for commercial purposes and it's royalty free. So awesome stuff. And I'm really excited to get into it. So getting started with Adobe Mixamo is actually really simple. You're just simply going to go to www.mixamo.com. I'll put a link to it in the description if it's simpler. And you're just going to be greeted with these two options here. So there's the login option. If you have an account, you want to log in and you're not signed in. And then just the sign up for free option. So if you don't have an account, an Adobe account, uh, just sign up. It's free. And as far as I know, there's no sort of caveats here. Like you can use the whole thing and export things as much as you want, which is really cool. And it's also free. So... Um, once you've created an account, you've signed, logged in, um, you're going to see this. Now, this is, you know, me logged in here in Adobe Mixmo. And it's just two very simple things we're going to look at here to get started with. And that is the characters. So you can see up here, we have a button called characters. And then we have one here called animation. So we're just going to get started with the characters. Now, you can actually take your own existing character, like I mentioned, and bring it into here, upload it, and then use the auto rigging features to rig your character. And then you can choose an existing motion capture animation and export that back to your program. So if you don't have a pre-existing character and you just don't have the time to make one, that is what this character library is for. So you can essentially come here and select any one of these characters and you can use them. Now, as far as I know, um, you can actually use this stuff even for commercial purposes. So it says over here, um, what type of projects can I create with Mixamo? And it says right here, um, you can use it royalty free for commercial, nonprofit, including all these things here. So pretty cool. And back to here, you can see these are all the options you have here. So pick one you like. It's even like a motion capture guy over here. You can click on any one of these and then you'll see it over here on the side panel, a very simple um, user interface. And then that is where the animation comes in. So once you have a character that you like, whether it's one of these ones here or your own, which you can upload, and we'll get into that in a second. You, once you have that done, you can come here to the animations tab and you can just click on one of these animations, right? And now it's gonna just load for a few seconds and there you have that motion capture thing happening here. There's a ton of things to pick from here. And if you can't find anything specific, just come up here and type. So if I type in run, and I type enter, you can see here, it comes up with a bazillion different kinds of run cycles. And there's action ones, battle ones, all really cool. So once you've clicked on um, a character and an animation you've chosen, you can just come here to download and then you can export this via an FBX file and open it up in something like Blender or whatever. Now that's all cool, but I'm gonna show you how can you take one of your own pre-existing characters and simply bring it into here. It's actually very simple. So what I'm gonna do, I have an example scene that I already have prepared. So I just have, and I'm not um, gonna be putting this on Patreon or anything because it's more just like a demonstration or something like that. So I've just got this basic male character here. And what we're gonna do is export this as an FPX, but it's just a few things I need to note. If you have any modifiers on here, Blender will automatically, as you export this as an FPX file, um, convert these into a mesh. So it'll essentially apply them for you. So you can see here, I have this uh, character mesh here that has a mirror and it has a subdivision surface. Now we can actually just get rid of the subdiv because we don't want that applied. Now, if it did apply the mirror, that wouldn't be an issue because um, we can always correct that, but I'm just gonna go and apply it. So make sure it's just one mesh like this and you don't have any active modifiers on there. So what we're gonna do now is once you have that, you're gonna select your character that you wanna do and you go to file and then we're gonna to go to the export option here. And we're gonna to go to the FBX option. So click on FBX. I'm just gonna select my desktop as an example and I'm gonna go export FBX. So now you can see here on my desktop, I have this FBX file and let's just go now into Adobe Mixamo and you can click now here on this thing here called upload character. You can just go select character file, or you can even drag it in. And I'm just gonna go and get that male mesh FBX. 
and I'm just going to go open. And it should load relatively quickly depending on the sort of geometry density that you have. But overall, it's uh, not, yeah, it's, it's pretty quick. So you can see here a little example of your character will pop up from a front view. So what we're going to simply do is once you're happy with the look of things, just go next. And then you're going to have these simple options here. So all you're going to do is take these things here. So we're going to take the left wrist here and we're going to drag it to the, the wrist here. Now we can take the elbow, drag it to where the elbow would be. And you can take the chin, drag it to where the chin would be. We can take the knees, drag it to where the knees will be. And then we can take the groin and put it where the groin will be. Now, the, whatever algorithm or software to have running here in the background, it does a really good job at automatically rigging this. So once you have these in the right place, you're just going to go next. And you're going to see it's going to start auto rigging for you. Now, this doesn't usually take too long. It never, never really takes more than two minutes, even with like a denser geometry like this. Uh, but also really depends on, um, you know, your internet, sp internet speed and stuff like that. So it's just going to have a little bit of a think about it. And there we have it. The auto rigging has now done its job. And it even comes with a little default animation here, which is standing and looking around. And it already just gives you an idea of what your character is going to look like when it's animated in a very realistic way, because we're relying on motion capture data here. So once you think all that looks okay, you're just going to go to next. And here's where it gets really fun. So now you don't have to just rely on that default animation. You can now come over here to animations and you can just click on any one of those and it'll do a quick load and your character will do that. You can even come up here. Maybe we want to do something specific like sit. I'm going to type enter. And now you can see we have all of these different sitting animations. I'm going to click on one of those. It's going to have a bit of a load. And there we have it. It's just brought it in. So. You can see it's it's just really, really fun. Um, maybe we can do jump. Okay, we're going to type in jump. And we can see here are some really cool examples of a jump. And so I'm going to click on this one here, maybe. Yeah, so he's on a high surface, and then he jumps off. So once you're happy with it, say, for example, you want to get this back into Blender, obviously. What we're going to do is once you're happy with it and you've messed around with these settings here. So, for example, one of the things you could look at, especially when you're doing an animation, is sometimes the arms will kind of clip through the mesh. So you can kind of take the arm spacing here and you can increase that if you have some intersection because some characters have very long limbs, some have shorter limbs. So I do find that sometimes an option, uh, an issue. So having that slider there is really ha helpful. You can mess around with the overdrive a little bit and you can also just use the length. But once you're happy with it, simply just click on download and then it's gonna come up with this really simple box. So you're gonna um, choose FPX again. If you're gonna be importing to something like Unity or whatever, it's got some options for that. Um, but we're just gonna stick with FPX. Uh, I'm going to go with 24 frames a second because that's what Blender has um, by default. And in the keyframe reduction, you can do a reduction. There's a non-uniform and a uniform option, but I'm just going to leave it at none um, for this example. And then we're just going to go download. And the download is pretty quick. So, okay, it's done downloading the asset. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to my download. So that's where it's been stored. So I'm going to go to downloads. And we can now see there's an FPX and it's actually named the FPX file after the action or the animation that we chose. So you can see here, it's called jumping. So what we can do now is go back into Blender. You can use the existing Blend file or just a new one, but I'm just gonna take my character here. I'm gonna hit H to hide him. Then I'm gonna go File, and now we're just gonna go um, to Import. Earlier we did the Export, but this time we're gonna do an Import. And we're gonna go to FPX. And then we're gonna go to our desktop or wherever that has saved it for you. And I'm gonna just click on the Jumping FPX import fpx and there we have it so now if we come over here and we just hit the space bar we can see we have that Im animation imported into blender that's simple and that's how easy it is to add motion capture um, data with the auto rigging feature in mixamo to your character and importing into blender i hope this has been a useful introduction see what you guys can do and have some fun with it i'll see you guys next time for another tutorial.